Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic inspired by the timeless classic, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, by Robert Kiyosaki. In just three minutes, we'll share with you one of the most valuable lessons from this book that can transform your financial mindset. So let's dive right in. Now, the lesson we want to talk about today is all about understanding the difference between assets and liabilities. It's a fundamental concept that can change the way you look at money and help you build wealth. In Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki explains that assets are things that put money in your pocket, while liabilities are things that take money out of your pocket. The key to financial success is to focus on acquiring more assets and minimizing liabilities. So, let's break it down further. Assets can include things like real estate properties, stocks, bonds, businesses, and even intellectual property. These are investments that generate income or appreciate in value over time. On the other hand, liabilities are things that require you to spend money regularly without providing any financial return. These can be your car loan, credit card debt, or even your monthly expenses that drain your income. The key takeaway here is to focus on acquiring more assets that generate income and have the potential to appreciate rather than spending on liabilities that drain your financial resources. By doing so, you'll gradually shift from being dependent on your job income to building a portfolio of assets that work for you. Remember, building wealth is not just about making money. It's about making your money work for you. By developing a mindset that prioritizes assets and minimizes liabilities, you can start building a strong foundation for your financial future. And that's our quick lesson from Rich Dad, Poor Dad. If you found this valuable, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with others who might benefit from it. As always, stay tuned for more exciting content on personal finance and investing. Thanks for watching.